All right. Hello, everybody. This is Jim Lee Elevators here on YouTube. You still remember this single digit Asian floor position indicator that I did the two wiring tutorials last time ago? Well, in this clip, I'm going to be showing you how to make the numbers using these controls right there that I showed you in the past two clips. Anyways, remember I showed you this the last time? See, now I just plugged it in. Now watch this when you tap this part right here. Watch. See? This lights up. Anyways, you see the down arrow that lights up too? See, look at that. See the down, see the down lights up as well. So with that being said, we don't actually need the down to light up because if you're on a real elevator, only the up can light up and then only the down can light up one at a time. Not something like this. See? This lights up including the down. But we don't want the down to light up. So what we're going to do is we are going to unplug the down controller hole right there. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to need to unplug it. You never plug anything until you're fully done wiring. Now watch this effect. See, I just unplugged it. Watch. See? It just fades out. All right, now that I just got my screwdriver out, I can easily take out the down connection, which is right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it. And what we do now is pull it out. And what we will do next is we could just stick it inside there. All right, now let's plug it in and see how better that is. All right, now watch this, see? The up is now lit. Now watch what happens when I tap this wire together. See, isn't that just much better without the down lighting up? See, what you think about that? See, now everything is lit up. See, that forms a, a number eight. See, this is like a eight style single digit floor indicator as you can see right here. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is I decided to create numbers that goes from one through nine. Now, as you see right here, we just already have one down which is Eight. See, it lights up like a number eight. See, that's everything that's completely lighting up just like that. All right, so looking at my phone, um, the way how we're going to start forming the number one is that we're going to start with letters C, B, which is these two right there where I'm pointing at. So what we're going to do is we will take all the bending wires out and then plug in the ones that'll form the number one as I showed. So now that I took all the bending wires out of the control hole right there, what we're going to do is we're going to take this bending wire right here and plug into letter C. And now we fold the other wire and place it into the B hole right there. Now that is done. Let's plug it in. See, now the up is lit. Let's tap in the wire and see what we got. See, look at that. We got a number one now. Let me turn off the main light just so you can get a better view. Now watch. Let's turn it on. See, now we got number one. Look at that. We just made our first number, which is number one. Next, we're going to do is number two. 
All right, now to make the number two on the single digit floor indicator right here, we're gonna plug in A, B, D, E, and G. So what I'm gonna do is rearrange these wirings, which I'm not gonna be doing that on camera because it'll take a lot of time, which most of y'all already know how to plug in this concept already which I already showed you in the beginning. Most of y'all should know the same thing already by now. So, let's make the number two. All right, so I'm almost done with this, but what I wanted to show you is that I have to use this to like squeeze in the bending wire because pinching it with my finger is just really, really hard and it just hurts my skin. So, we're gonna squeeze it. And now it should get it in there. All right. Now that I finally got it fully plugged, let's put in the outlet and see what we've got. Watch this. As soon as I tap this wire, watch what happened. Let's turn off the main light real quick. Watch this. Here goes nothing. Awesome. We made the number two. This is awesome. I can't believe it. Look at that. See now? We got the number two worked out already. Next, what we're gonna do is number three, which all you have to do is we're gonna switch from this light to this light right here. We don't even have to switch anything out except this part right here. All right, now, in order to make the number three, what we need to do is we're gonna unplug E and plug it into C which is pretty simple. All right, so all we need to do is remove E and hook it up onto C. So all we need to do is remove this and shift it to the left. Just as simple as it is. All right, so now that I just shifted this two wire right here from both D and E to C and D. We will now touch the wire down below to see what we've got. Let's turn off the main light real quick. Here we go. See, now we got number three. See, look at that. Isn't that just amazing? Next we will do is number four. All right, now looking at my phone, the way how we're gonna be making the number four is we're gonna plug in with F, G, C, and B. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rearrange these wires, which it'll be done off camera. All right, so now that I got all the wires rearranged, let's turn off the main light and see what shows up. See, now we got the number four all set up. Now I'm gonna be doing the rest the next day because it is getting late, but I hope you enjoy all this for right now. We will continue onward tomorrow, first thing in the day. All right, being that this is the next day, the way how we're gonna be plugging in for number five is we're gonna go by letters A, C, D, G, and F. Now as you see on this control board, I've basically already connected on there. And now I just powered it on. Let's see what happens when I hook it up. Watch. See? We got the number five on. See? Now we made the number five. Let me turn off the main light so we can get a much better view. See? Watch. See that? That's your number five. Next, we're going to do number six, which this is pretty much simple. You just light up this part of the indicator segment line right there. Just very, very simple. Which the only thing we need to do is light up E. All right, so I just um, plugged it in. I had to rearrange the whole wirings because some of the wires broke and I have to redo everything. I'm so sorry, that's a lot of mess. This thing's a pain in the butt to do, so just bear with me on that. But anyways, let's, let's tap in and see what we've got. See, now we got number six. Let me turn off the main light. 
All right, let's hook it up again. See what we got, watch. See, look at that. Now we got number six. See, number six, moving on is number seven. Now to do number seven, this is very, very simple. All you have to do is, you know how you go by the ABCs? Well, speaking of ABC, it really actually does go by A, B, C. Look at that. Isn't that just self-explanatory? So let's get on with that. It's just only three plugs. Not very many. Very, very simple. All right, so as you can see here, I removed all the other wires, and I only just plugged in A, B, C. So now we're going to flip it around, and we will test it. See? Now we got number seven. Look at that. Let me turn off the main light so you can get a much better view. See? Now we'll light it one more time. See? We got the number seven. And now, the way we're going to make the number eight, you have already seen this al already in the beginning of this video. Just simply lighting up all the segment lines by hooking up every single of these holes inside the control system except the down plug. But everything else, you just hook it on in order to make the number eight. See, now that I got all the wires hooked up, see, just to recap it to you, let me turn off the main light so we can get a better view of it. It goes like this, watch. See, that is all the seven segment lines lighting up to make the number eight. Just like I showed you in the first beginning of this video like that. So you, you've seen that already. Now, in order to make the number nine, as I showed here, this is letter E. So all we need to do is take out this part right here in order to make the number nine, but leave all the rest of the lights on, but just take this off. So all you need to do is unplug E. All right, just after I unplug from the whole E, now let's turn it around after I just powered it up. Let's pulse it and see what we got. Finally, number nine, the last number of the single digit indicator. Let me turn off the main light. See, look at that. We're at the last number of this single digit floor position indicator. We made it all the way up. Man, wasn't that fun. What did you guys think of that? Now, um, I know some of you, you may ask me like, um, if there's a zero something, just basically, um, it'll light up this, 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 and that. But unfortunately, I'm not going to show it because, um, because basically, uh, not a lot of real elevators have that zero floor and it's just not very common. So I'm just going to go with one through nine and that's how basically it's going to be. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this whole wiring and demonstration of this single digit floor indicator that was all the way from Asia. I did all these three part videos. I hope you enjoy them and hope that made you learn something. I hope this is self-explanatory. And um, as you see here, if you plug it in, see, you can see that the up lights up, but when you pulse the wire, see, watch this. It lights up. So as for the number, I'm right now just going to keep it at nine, just only for right now, because I don't want to keep going through this whole wiring process as um, these are starting to wear out, which makes it a, makes it very painful to redo. So I'm just going to leave it at nine and I'll change the numbering later when I feel like doing so. And with that being said, this is going to display very nicely in my elevator collection display. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you so very much for watching this video. Hope that made you learn something like I already said. That is going to be it, and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye, everyone.